some Democrats I spoke to today here in Dallas said the mayor's comments were misleading and opportunistic. Mayor Johnson, before an RNC crowd, said that when it comes to crime, in his words, Democrats are with the criminals, not victims. Let's make America safe again by retiring Joe Biden and electing Donald J. Trump. Tuesday night's primetime speech by Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson at the Republican National Convention left some members of his former party feeling insulted. Johnson told the audience he lost faith as a Democrat four years ago when protesters showed up at his house and he says intimidated his family. In response, Johnson says his fellow Democrats were silent. But the truth is, on matters of public safety, the Democrats were never actually there for me, for Dallas families, or for the American people. Democrats in power demonstrate they don't care about stopping the killers or the thieves who terrorize black and brown communities. Johnson then talked about the violent crime reduction in Dallas and gave credit to Republican leadership in America's safest cities. I reached out to multiple Dallas City Council members for a reaction. Some told me they had no comment, and others said they did not watch. But two of Johnson's colleagues did have strong opinions. The disappointment doesn't come from anyone's party affiliation. The disappointment comes from having someone who is using this seat, this city, as a rising step stool for their own political agenda. Councilman Adam Bazaldua has been a vocal critic of Johnson since he switched parties. Our city is a democratic city. Numbers don't lie. And to just tout that you as one of 15 people on our council is doing anything more than another, to me, is disingenuous. In a statement, Councilman Hami Resendez said serving with Mayor Johnson has been one of the biggest disappointments of his career. The progress we have made in terms of public safety is a result of collaborative efforts by the entire council, not the actions of one individual. He can't so single-handedly claim credit for uh, crime trends in Dallas. But you have to remember, People watching speeches at the convention don't know any of that. SMU political scientist Matthew Wilson says this is a case of how local government, like council and school boards, continue to become more partisan. The range of issues that we decide have so much been classified into red and blue columns that nobody can stand apart from that. And so that's why you're seeing lower and lower, more and more localized officials having very, very strong party identifications. Mayor Johnson told the RNC crowd that cr violent crime has gone down in the last three consistent years in Dallas. That stat is true when you look at all violent crime combined, but homicides specifically have been increasing and still high. Last year, 247 homicides in 2023, up from 215 in 2022.